who have the management of Maruti joining us, Rahul Bharti, the Chief Investor Relation Officer and Head Corporate Affairs uh, joining us on the show right now. Rahul, hi, good to be speaking with you. Thanks so much for making time and speaking with us. First up, tell us the factors which help you post such a big beat when it comes to your earnings and also this 12% margin number that we saw. Would you call this sustainable as we look into the rest of the year? Our EBIT to net sales, uh, which is slightly different from uh, what the EBITDA to net sales, uh, improved in from Q4 at 10.8% to 11.1% in Q1, which is a uh, margin expansion of about 30 basis points. Now, this 30 basis points was the resultant of several factors. On the positive side, there was a gain of 90 basis points in the RM to net sales ratio. And that includes the reversal of the one-time effect in Q1 of 60 basis points. So uh, it came back to normal, uh, the RM to net sales ratio. Uh, there was an operating income uh, benefit of 70 basis points and manufacturing and admin expenses, uh, some efficiencies of about 30 basis points. So on the upside, a total uh, expansion of 190 basis points. And on the downside, we had operating deleverage of about 80 basis points because of lower volume, uh, some impact on employee cost of about 50 basis points, and it advertisement uh, cost of 30 basis points. So the to a total downside of about 160 basis points, and that gives us a net benefit of about 30 basis points. And that's how the margin expands. Now your next question of whether uh, this is sustainable or not, so as things stand today, if, if the factors continue, uh, there is no one-off in this Q1. Uh, it will depend on factors like uh, the usual uh, margin determinants, like commodities, forex, uh, uh, like discounts in the market. Uh, because of volume, we have some operating leverage or deleverage. It will depend on those factors. Some commodities uh, are hardening, like copper and uh, aluminium. Uh, there is some advantage uh, on indirect imports, uh, forex impact that may accrue in the next quarter. So uh, let's see how the next quarters uh, uh, go. Rahul, what's the PV industry sales outlook looking for rest of the financial year? Also, can we see Maruti outperforming the market growth? Or do you think uh, the confidence right now and the visibility is to move in line with the industry trends? On exports, certainly uh, we have a buying growth despite a high base. Uh, we could uh, grow about 11.6% this quarter. And that uh, should continue. We expect to do more than about uh, 300,000 this year on exports. In the domestic market, uh, uh, the passenger vehicle market did attain a very high level uh, even last year at about 4.2 million. And it's India has a long way to go. So it's not necessary that you know every quarter we have a steady exactly the same amount of growth. The market does take a breather sometime and we are perfectly fine with that. So this year, uh, our expectations on volume growth in the domestic market is not much. Uh, as the industry body also mentioned in the beginning of the year, it could be a low single digit, it could be a mid single digit. So, uh, uh, so uh, maybe after that, uh, the market restarts again. Uh, initially, we had some impact of, uh, you know, elections and, uh, uh, a very hot season in the North India in particular. Uh, monsoons seem to be normal so far. Of course, there are some rains in, uh, in uh, specific areas. Uh, but we hope with monsoons and with the festive season, uh, the Indian consumer will again come back. Well, that point is taken, but I also wanted to um, understand from you how the situation is in UP because that big tax waiver that happened in that state for hybrids definitely uh, was expected to give it a bit of a fillip at least month on month. Could you talk to us about how the trends are shaping up? Hybrids now account for more than 2% of the total sales in India. And that is despite the fact that there are very limited uh, strong hybrid models at the moment in the market. 
So, so uh, there has been growth, but if you're specifically uh, referring to uh, post UP uh, decision, it is slightly premature to, uh, to get the data and the numbers. Rahul, we observed that in the first quarter, there have been a rise in your discounts. Can we expect to see some more discounts ahead of the festive season also, or in general, the policy of uh, discounts to sustain from here on? The discounts in Q1 were normal, uh, but they did go up from the time when we had some supply constraints. Uh, so you would obviously recognize that last year, we, when we had supply constraints because of semiconductor or CNG, uh, manufacturing shortfall. Uh, so uh, the discount levels uh, will be particularly lower. And uh, it is difficult to talk about the future because it will depend on market conditions. It will depend on what uh, our peer group is uh, offering in the market. So difficult to, uh, to look at in the future. Okay, point taken. Thanks, Rahul, for uh, joining us today and talking to us about how things are shaping up at Maruti. Appreciate your time. For now, the